The man of the hour. And you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot of prep for the playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Wow, you'd really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. Sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh, well, I felt like I was able to get to the line and make adjustments to put our team in the best position to make big plays. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well... Rich, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. High School Football State Championship and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Tigers. With you as always, I'm Kevin Connors as we await the opening kick. Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. Coming from deep in the end zone, and we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. And you know, with a state championship on the line, every drive can seem like it's the most critical. They'll start the drive here with Rainey. And a big hit there as he's knocked to the ground. Well, for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this showdown. Just short of the marker, here's third and one. Looking to throw, here's Dixon. And they're unable to make the connection, so here comes fourth down. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. And you know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they had been behind them and that they are ready to raise the trophy. QB2 and his brigade of playmakers take the field for the first time in this title game. Surveys the field. And they'll take him down after a nice pickup. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his brush offs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. Meantime, they pick up the first through the air on second down. to this drive as they look to keep up the momentum. Throws left, it's complete. And he's out at the 25. No 
Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rainey posted, and it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes, very bold, and you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. He's across the top, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Sammy Hawk, the first score of this title game. Our score seven nothing. Do it to do. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Caught in the end zone, and this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Brush Hogs take over on offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. The drive begins on the ground with Rainey. And he'll barely get a yard on first down. Ryan Gibson with the tackle. All right, so following the short gain, it's second and nine. They go back to Rainey, and he'll get this across the 25, but only to about the 27 yard line. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel, and yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. So there you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And the kick is away. Washington fields it, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed at that young man. And yes, it's a catch. And a huge gain on the play puts them at the 30-yard line. A 32-yard gain. And that's what the fans came to see. Hawk gets the handoff. He says, get off me. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. An 18-yard pickup. And they move the chains. Off the play fake. Holds it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. the PAT and they continue to push ahead 14 nothing following the touchdown the Tigers are ready to kick it away fielded in the end zone and it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee So the Brush Hogs are lined up now. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. And he makes the catch. And a solid gain up to the 33. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad, Clyde, played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother, Tommy. Mom, Olivia, was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. Well, they're hoping to avoid a third straight punt to start the game as they get ready for third down. 
Dixon hands it off to Rainey. And the play call there successful as they get it across for the first. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since I think the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. So the second quarter is now underway, and appropriately enough, it's second down. Kevin Connors here to welcome you back as we begin the second quarter. Switch up, switch up. Brady gets the handoff. Now he's brought down after moving the chains. First down. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Corn Huskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. And he's down at the 46 yard line. A gain of four on the play. And now it's second and six. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Looking to pass on second down. Gets it to Kirkpatrick. And he's got it past the marker. First down. When you look around this stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans. And there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. After a solid pickup on that previous play, here's second down. Now they'll throw from the gun. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. for a loss. Stuffed on the previous play. It's second and long. Here's Dixon. They set up the screen, and that's complete. Oh, boy, and that'll set them back as he's tackled for a loss. you put together a drive like this, you want to come away with a touchdown. It's just that simple. Making this third down absolutely crucial. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Final preparations now as he locks in from long range. It's taken at the one. And that's a solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. And as they get underway, complacency can be the silent killer. This drive will be key. And no gain on the play there at second down. I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Ventus's request and surprised his players with a pregame speech. Can you imagine that? With half 
time just around the corner. It's third down. Back to throw. Here's QB2. Goes to his left. It's complete. And he's out at the 45. A 25-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. It's first and ten. Fakes the handoff. Play action. He's got it! And he stopped at the 11-yard line. Now another first and ten, and even more of a threat to score now. It's caught! Touchdown, Tigers! Jamison Maddox, his second touchdown catch of the game. Myers now to add the extra point. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. So the scoreboard reads 21 to 3. Following that costly score, they're lined up for the return. Caught in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drop. And they drop him for a sack. With just a mile to go. One last try before the break. Fires quickly, and that's complete. Taken down as he makes the grab. The completion gets them seven. Here comes third down. So, after two quarters of action, it's the Tigers out in front. And when we return the second half of this historic showdown, we can only hope the rascals who pulled off that halftime prank are brought to justice. Either way, it's time to get back to the game. Here comes the second half. Mm-hmm, and a nice return gets this upcoming drive started on the right foot. The Tigers send out their offense. It's just been amazing to see. They've yet to finish a drive without putting points on the scoreboard. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. DeAndre Divens there to stop them. Take a break from the game here for a moment. I think the pranksters I mentioned earlier are still on the loose. Over in the Brush Hogs fan section, they're holding up signs they found underneath their seats with the letters that spell. Well, let's just say there's a reason we aren't pointing our cameras at them right now. And he's brought down after a nice gain on the play. A pickup of seven on the play, so it'll be third and one. Looks like they're expecting a throw. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's finally tackled after a solid run. And while I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team, and I gotta tell you. That little Sparky has really earned my respect. Might be after my job. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Jamison Maddox. Kid's been living in the end zone. His third score of the day. And the kick is good. The tally now, 28-3. to three. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. 
Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And at this stage of the game, every minute counts for them to have any shot of making a comeback. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Fetu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. Working out of a hole now. Here's third and long. They snap the ball. Delivers on the screen. They bring him down. They pick up nine yards before giving way to a fourth down. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And here's the kick. It's a fair catch inside the 20. So the Tigers are lined up now. And there's Coach Fetu calling out some instructions for QB2 from the sideline. And he won't get much on first down. Jerron Elias there to stop him. All right, so following the short gain, it's second and seven. So it's a jet sweep. Watch the receiver. And they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And you got to remember, you know, until earlier this season, he hadn't played a down of football since Pop Warner. Think about that kind of meteoric rise. And he picks up a big chunk of yards to take them into enemy territory. Hawks lined up behind QB2. They go play action. He finds his tight end. And he's inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. One last thing on recruits to watch. You can go to the archive and watch videos they have on players that are now in the NFL. I highly recommend you search for DeAndre Hopkins and Le'Veon Bell's highlights. I and mean, it's like watching someone play Madden. You know, Madden, the video game. Madden. And a weight room play there before the defense can stop him. Looking to convert once again. It's third down. And he can't come up with enough to move the sticks. Looks like he needed just one more yard to avoid a fourth down. Ready to take a chance. Here's fourth and inches. And he'll push his way through the line. A strong run to earn the first. During my pregame interview with Coach Fetu, he expressed all kinds of excitement about this opportunity for his kids. But I detected a tinge of sadness when the conversation turned to the subject of Tommy Matthews. I mean, it's hard not to feel for the young man, the former starter at quarterback who was sidelined indefinitely due to that heart condition earlier this season. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Once more on second down, here's QB2. He goes up and gets it. Great catch through the air. 16 yards gained. And another first down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2. 
Before they can run a play, they'll signal the end of the third quarter. When we return, the quest for a state championship continues. Stay tuned. So we resume action here in the fourth quarter. A first down play coming up. He's got it! Touchdown, Tigers! Oh, they are running up the score. Now to tack on another point. It's up and it's good. The score now, 35 to 3. Following the touchdown, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive, and we'll see if they've come up with anything to prevent this drive from ending with yet another punt. Dixon looks downfield. They set up the screen, and that's complete. Oh, big time hit. I think he knocked him back to middle school. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's second and long. Looking to pass. And he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. Following that incompletion, here's third and long. You, 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 you. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. He's on the move. Dixon is sacked. Tried to use his feet, but could not avoid the takedown. So following the drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he gives it the boot. Here's Washington. And he stopped at the 47. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And they are very much in control of this game. QB2 gives it to Hawk. And they'll take him down at the 42. A pickup of five on the play, and that makes it second and five. Here's QB2. They keep it on the ground with Hawk. And he'll pick up a few yards on second down. Darnell Slate with the tackle. Needing just a couple yards. It's third down. Hatton is wide open for the pitch. And that's just short of the goal line after a huge gain on the play. From the one yard line, here's first and goal. point and the point after attempt is good our score now 42 to 3 after giving up the touchdown the brush hogs are back to receive fielded in the end zone and this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hawks to start the drive. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. Well, the ball comes down. He's looking to go. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. Way through the fourth quarter, 
Here's second down. Out of the gun, they'll throw. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. Five wideouts on the field. Three to the left, two to the right. Out of the gun on third. Using his leg down goes Dixon. He couldn't elude the defense on that great pursuit. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he sends it flying. He'll down it inside the 20. send out their offense and they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard trying to chew up some clock they give it to Hawk and they'll make the stop after a solid gain on the play a pickup of five on the play and that makes it second and five From the back of the eye, Hawk scans the field. Watch right, watch right, watch right. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Ten yards on the play. Good for a Tiger first down. to his receiver on the sweep. Shakes it off and he could go. And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. As we approach the final minute, it's first and 10. Hawk gets the rock and he's taken down inside the 44 yard line. Pushing deeper into enemy territory. Hawk gets another carry. And he doesn't come up with much on second down. Jerron Elias there to stop him. So he'll take a knee here, likely to be followed by one more as they begin their celebration on the sideline. And that will do it. The Tigers are state champions. Signing off now. Kevin Connors as we give way to this euphoric scene.